Let's mine some Ravencoin on my 3060 LHR version 2. What is up miners and welcome back to the 3 Fox Company YouTube channel where we do rig builds, gear reviews and how to crypto videos. I am Jacques and in this video we'll be mining some Ravencoin with our 3060 LHR version 2. We'll be having a look at overclocks, hash rate and profitability. So let's go into the video. We are now in iveOS. I've got GPU3 which I'm using for the test of Ravencoin. So right off the bat, you can see we are hashing at 21 mega hashes at a ridiculous 170 watts. If we go into the miner, so here you can see we're doing 21 mega hashes at almost 170 watts with an efficiency of 124 kilo hashes per watt. So obviously this is stock settings, so there's no overclock supplied. So what I like to do on Ravencoin is to use locked core clock because I believe that it runs more stable and more efficient and also I can really limit the the wattage that I'm taking from the GPU so at 21 mega ashes 170 watts so I'll just apply 1305 and you might ask why I'm using 1305 if you look in the information tab here so you can see here that it says the lock core clock values should be divisible by 15s without a remainder. So for instance, 900, 1035, 1200, etc. So 1305 is divisible by 15. So that's the reason why I've chose 1305. So we go ahead and apply this. And then in a moment, we'll have a look to see what happens to our hash rate and also what happens to the wattage we take from the card and also what happens to the efficiency. Now that we applied a lock core clock value of 1305, you can already see that the efficiency has increased significantly. It's up to 193, 191 kilo ashes per watt. The hash rate has dropped slightly from 21 mega ashes to 20.8 mega ashes. But also you can see that the wattage is way down from 170 watts down to 110 watts. Now what I found on this 3060 card is that it actually likes fair amount of memory overclock. So although we are getting quite a good efficiency on this card now, I'll just demonstrate to you what happens when we add some memory overclock and see if we can increase the hash rate slightly. So I'll go back to iveOS and then I'll just add 1000 on the memory, which will be equivalent to 500 in Windows. So now we've got a lock core clock of 1305 and a memory overclock of 1000. We are still on 20.8 mega hashes, but in the moment we'll see what happens to the hash rate and the efficiency. Back in the miner, now with the memory overclock of 1000, we can already see that the hash rate increased up to 21.4 mega ashes per second. The wattage increases by about 3 to 4 watts and the efficiency is still around 190. So just by increasing the memory overclock, we actually increased the hash rate and we kept the power fairly stable and the efficiency we kept it almost the same that it was only with a locked core clock. I've also found that if you increase the memory overclock similar to that that you will use on ethereum that it doesn't really increase the wattage that much maybe by one or two watts but we will be able to get a slight increase in hash rate and the efficiency might drop slightly by about two or three kilo ashes per watt so let's just go over to iveos and then we put in the memory overclock that we use for ethereum which is 2600 and the equivalent in windows will be 1300 so we apply this value and and then we go over to the miner again let it run for a few cycles we ran the miner now for about three cycles after we changed the memory overclock and you can see we went up slightly to 21.52 mega ashes the efficiency is still at 190 kilo ashes per watt on the next cycle we got 21.61 21.65 21.64 and our efficiency still stays at 
190 kilo ashes per watt although we had a slight increase up till about 114 watts 115 watts so really it comes down to personal preference if you want to save that two or three watts on the gpu it would be best to run at 1000 overclock in ivos or if you want maximum performance out of this gpu to get that 0.2 or 0.3 increase in ash rate it might be beneficial for you to use the standard ethereum overclock of 2600 on the memory but then just with the lower core clock of 1305 so if we do a quick recap of the overclocks for ravencoin on the 3060 lhr version 2 gpu so initially on stock overclocks we started with 21 mega ashes per second at 170 watts with an efficiency that was very low in the 120s so then we just used a lock core clock of 1305 so that we can bring down the wattage to around 109 to 114 watts dependent on what memory overclock we use and then it just boils down to personal preference if you want to sacrifice you know two or three more watts for the same efficiency so then we can either use 1000 on the memory overclock or 2600 on the memory clock just for that slight increase in ash rate for the same efficiency please let me know in the comments below which overclocks you are using and what ash rates you are getting from your cards also if you found this video useful please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel stay safe stay healthy and i will see you in the next video